A classic demi glace is the combination of brown stock and espanol sauce that's thickened with flour. There are two problems with that. First, it's quite time consuming, and second, modern high end cuisine generally avoids roux thickened sauces because they're heavy and opaque. This is a modern version of demi glace. It functions in the exact same way but with a cleaner taste and the benefit of being slightly easier to make. Okay. Put a little bit of coarse salt on it. Just a little bit. And now these are going to be roasted. After two hours, take the brown bones, transfer them to a pan. It drain the fat off of the bottom. This gets thrown away, and then we deglaze the pan with hot water. We got the vegetables: garlic, onion, tomato, carrots, and celery. And you add enough water to cover everything. And then we're going to bring it to a simmer. Make the bouquet garni bag with uh, thyme, parsley, cloves, and black pepper corn. And then just wedge it down in the bottom there somewhere. Put it over to hold it down under the liquid. That's it. This is the level of simmer we want to see. And here's what it looks like finally after about eight or nine hours. I'm not going to filter it. And to make this easier on yourself, use a, a spider to uh, remove the large pieces, the bones, and the huge vegetables first before you pass it through the sieve. Then you have a manageable amount of solids. Now what we have to do is cool this down quickly. Uh, we're going to put this in an ice bath and start lowering the temperature of this. And you should have it um, chilled down to about 30 degrees Celsius. That's so well below the danger zone. Now I'm going to put a lid on it, put it in the freezer, put this whole pot in the freezer for about an hour to get it even further down before I transfer it to the refrigerator for overnight. And the next morning, and this is completely solid now. You get this fat cap on it. Uh, and a, a few people actually save this fat and use it, but, but it's beef fat. It's really pretty unhealthy and uh, you can use a little bit of it's called stock fat you can use that for cooking vegetables for making stock next time that it's good for but in general for general cooking not not so good so uh, maybe i'll save a little bit of this most of it most of it gets thrown away now the rest of this is back this this jelly now this is going to go back onto the stove and reduce further and it keeps scraping okay get most of the fat off. You can see little little tiny flecks of fat left in it. That's okay. Don't let, don't let that worry you. Time to just done that'll, that'll dissolve into the fat. And after several hours, it's reduced to a little bit less than half of its volume. And in order to make it smooth, I'm going to pass it through China cap, very chinois, very, very fine sieve. If you did everything right, you should have about 700 to 750 grams of this very concentrated solution now. Now if you taste it, it doesn't have a lot of flavor because there's almost no salt in it, uh, but uh, it's very, very powerful. Now this needs to be cooled down. I'm going to put this in an ice bath to cool it down a little bit, then put it in the freezer again, and then into the refrigerator just as before, and it'll come back in a minute and show you what it looks like after it's, uh, after it's completely solidified. You can take a knife, run around the edge of the container, And 
then you can you can cut it up neatly into pieces to uh, partition and, and and put away into smaller containers and uh, frozen it'll it'll keep a long time. But uh, let's just take a look at a little part of it here. Very very heavy, very thick, and this is just that is, this isn't frozen. This is just in the refrigerator. This is the way it should look. Also look for my cocktail book, Cocktails of the South Pacific and Beyond, Advanced Mixology, available through Amazon online.